Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest and the most reliable mug coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. The link for their website will be right at the top of the description. What's going on, guys? For the second Golden Ticket gameplay of the day, we are looking at the brand new James Morgan, aka the Throne Golden Ticket. Before we hop into it, though, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 30,000 subscribers. Hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. We post daily Madden 21 content and also do not forget to hit that like button and I will leave a link to my Twitch channel down in the description. I will be live tonight over on Twitch rating teams live. So you want a chance to have your own team rated, all you have to do is come through the Twitch live stream tonight. So here is James Morgan and the reason why this card is the Throne Golden Ticket is because obviously... This guy looks just like Throne and EA is kind of playing into it because they gave him a card art with no helmet on. So they kind of are playing into it, which is pretty cool. But um, yeah, James Morgan, 89 speed, 99 throw power, 98 short, 99 mid, 99 deep, 99 throw under pressure with a 99 throw on the run and 99 play action. Card is 6'4", 229 pounds, 74 strength with 95 agility. And today we are rocking with full 50-50 Jets cams, full play fake, and full sprinter on James Morgan. So while I'm recording this about two hours after James Morgan is officially out this car is going for 350k to 400k and for a golden ticket it's hard to beat that price and the reason why james morgan i think is actually going to be used is because the ability so on golden tickets they have different ability slots so you might have two scrambler slots or two improviser slots uh, maybe a field general slot maybe a strong arm slot we're gonna get into the, into the abilities in a little bit but james morgan is a very one-dimensional golden ticket um, opposed to RG3 who can also run and has crazy speeds and has 97 carry and a 99 break tackle by the way if you missed that gameplay card in the top right right now for RG3 but James Morgan is very one dimensional just 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 a, just a very elite pocket passer like very elite um, the throw power is there. You guys see all the accuracy stats, the throws on the run. The acceleration and the speed, this guy should be able to roll out combined with the skate artist. He should feel all right, but once he gets past the line of scrimmage, he's not a runner at all. 77 COD, 50 spin move, 60 juke move with a 54 break tackle and an 83 carrying. So if you do see yourself in a scenario where you are past the line of scrimmage with James Morgan, please slide because you're, you're going to get lined up with the low COD and the low speed and stuff like that. So please just slide. Um, I can see myself getting hit sick today with this guy and probably fumbling. I would not be surprised if that actually happens. But as a passer, this guy's definitely top tier. And apparently, yeah, he has the same release as RG3 too. So um, he's going to feel the same as RG in the pocket. And with the skate artist, he'll probably feel pretty similar behind the line of scrimmage. But it's when he crosses that line of scrimmage is when you're going to feel the difference between RG3 and James Morgan. So now we got James Morgan's ability. So I'm going to try my best to explain it to you if you are new to Madden and don't really understand the hype behind a golden ticket quarterback. So usually you'll see that James Morgan's a strong arm QB and all five ability slots are going to be dedicated to strong arm abilities. But on golden tickets, for example, this, this ability slot right here, it's actually for scrambler archetypes. So that is why James Morgan's able to get escape artist for two AP. So yeah, we're able to run escape artist, gunslinger, and hot route master for six AP. And for example, on Brett Favre, I was running hot route master and gunslinger for five AP. But now I also have escape artist on a card that, yeah, is actually going to get use out of escape artist. So escape artist here, this is, this is the scrambler slot here, are the abilities that he can get. I'll scroll through it real quick. The second slot's going to be strong arm because it's a two AP gunslinger. So here's what Morgan can get for his strong arm slot, which is probably yeah, everything because he's actually a strong arm archetype QB for field general. Here's what he gets. And by the way, yep, hot route master two AP for the field general. So we're going to scroll down here. Here's what we got. Every ability there for for a field general. Second slot, what is it? I'm pretty sure it's also field general, and it is. So yeah, you can also run like protected or conductor, which is what I ran in the RG3 gameplay. You know, you got you got long range dead eye too. I don't think he's gonna need it with all the great accuracy stats, but um, in the last slot, I'm pretty sure this is also field general. So he's got three field general slots, and th this is strong arm, and then this is scrambler for escape artist. Um, very good ability slots for James Morgan. Um, this card was definitely crafted for for perfection. Um, because yeah, you can run a ton of great things and honestly, yeah, a lot of the uh, field general archetypes They get some really good benefits like protected 2 AP and also conductor if you if you did want to stack them out Those are the other two abilities that I'd probably run, you know conductor and uh, protected 100% those those abilities combined with all these abilities This card's gonna be an absolute demon so for team cams only jets and we got a uh, play fake and we got sprinter on James Morgan man, but yeah I'm very excited to use James Morgan, the Throne Golden Ticket, and of course, one of the odds I have a Jets theme team to boost this guy even more. But um, yeah, apparently he's got the RG release, so he should feel somewhat similar to RG. Hopefully he does. 
I mean, if you can get this guy for almost a mil cheaper than RG, I mean, why not go and grab him? You can run all those abilities for 6 AP. It's honestly might end up being a pretty good purchase, but I guess enough talking. Let's hop right into it. All right, here we go. We got game number one. We are facing Jackboy19821805. That's a that's a that's basically a phone number out there. Might as well be a phone number. But if you guys saw his top three, definitely has some kind of Dolphins team going. Not that Waddle needs to be on a Dolphins team, but yeah, he's got Waddle on the Dolphins team there. Um, so yeah, here we go. I mean, if we gotta face Jalen Waddle, this game this game's not gonna be easy because. I said it yesterday, if you missed the Jalen Waddle gameplay, that card is a certified demon. There's a reason why he's staying on the squad. There's a reason why, there's a reason why I'm keeping Waddle. He's that good. But unfortunately, we are starting this game off on defense. Obviously, it would be more ideal if I was on offense. We can see my man James Morgan early. But in the plan today, I mean, this being, I guess, technically like a like, like a Walmart thrown gameplay, I got to go with a rollout corner. We got to throw rollout corners with Morgan. It only would feel right. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'd be doing this card in this gameplay a disservice if I just didn't throw rollout corners over and over and over again. But he's got two... Uh, He's got Waddle. He's got some demons out there. And he throws the ball right at Atwater. He he might have demons on his team, but he threw one of the blindest reads I think I've seen ever. But don't quit. Don't quit. Let us stay. Let us play. Let us play. And we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go with a corner to we're gonna go with the corner out to uh, to Waddle here. Let, let's go ahead and try that. Um hopefully he's in like a cover two or something like that. It'll make it a little bit easier for us. But um, I'm still gonna try it. If it's not open, it's not open. It is what it is. But yeah, we're still gonna give it a shot. Uh just Please, someone get open here. It'd be great if someone could. Let's double team that guy on the outside. And oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, get it there. Rollout corner. Da, let's go, baby. Cross body accurate from James Morgan. Throwing the rollout corner. First play of the day. Let's go, man. So, for example, if they drop this James Morgan card and he wasn't a golden ticket without escape artist and with his speed and his acceleration, that's probably not possible. That That's not happening. So, um, yeah, you got to have escape artists to make, to make plays like that. That's why golden tickets are valued, why they're valued. So, he's playing man again. He's going to keep sending pressure. We're going to hit this. Oh my, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Inaccurate. That wasn't good. That was not good. Was there pressure? I don't, I don't think there was actually pressure. That was just a really bad throw. Whoever was guarding Braylon just stuck that man, bro. Like, he had no separation whatsoever. Let's try this again. Dot it. This time. There we go. Okay, so that's what should have happened the first time. Uh, we sailed it with Morgan. And actually, I was kind of scared of that middle safety. We do have our first James Morgan touchdown of the day. Uh, we had a rollout corner. Then we had a good dot. This guy's playing man coverage. So, yeah, corner routes are going to work beautifully against him. But, um, yeah, a very good start to the day, man. And, yeah, in, in a Walmart thrown gameplay, you've got to run rollout corners. You just have to do it. You have to get the job done. Oh, I got stuck. I got stuck. Oh, he snap reads it. Quentin Williams picks him off. Go, Quentin. Go, Quentin. Oh, I could do like I could be going with Quentin right now, but I want to fall. I want to feed James Morgan more. Oh, my. Quentin Williams just actually lurked the man slow. I don't blame you for quitting. All right, so my opponent did let the whole, you know, pause clock run out. I don't know if he's still here. He might be crying. Maybe he broke a controller after Quentin Williams user lurked him. I don't know what's going on. And then I stop and go to him, kind of disrespecting him. I'm not going to lie. He might be sending me a kindly worded message after what I did. I don't know what he's, I don't really know what he's doing right now. But all I know is Morgan's back on the field. And uh, let's see what he's got up his sleeves. Let's see what um, Jack Boy's got up his sleeves. Here we go. Let's, let's motion waddle. And I think I just kind of want to roll out. Like, I've, I've been liking the rollout. I've, I don't. I haven't really used Escape Artist this year. So it's like, in these Golden Ticket gameplays, like my first time really getting to use them. But I didn't get the motion slant off. He's not even in his defense. We're going to have... We should have Waddle open. We should. We should. Right, I'm just going to run this thing. With, okay, we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. I mean, I, I thought that maybe that guy was going to peel off a Waddle. He never did. He stuck him the whole time. But Jets Dig should get open here. I, I got the playoff. He's... No! No way. Okay, good pass lead though away from that outside guy. But he's not here. He's not here. That would have... He was playing the middle third guy. So kind of a Mickey Mouse touchdown. I'm going to leave this game. But that was actually a good pass lead and good range from... Why can I not pause the game? Well, okay, oh, like, yeah, you can't pause after field goals. They won't let me pick my play again. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dashboard. This game is really weird right now. I, don't, I have no idea what's going on. But all I know is Morgan, two touchdowns in game one. Let's hop into another one. But yeah, that should have been a P. Oh, we're gonna hit X over the middle. Get it there, James. Upfield. Okay, Keyshawn, I see you. Keyshawn getting separation on Joe Hayden for Morgan's first completion of game number two. And he's not. Okay, here we go. Waddle, give me some separation. There we go. There's Waddle, roll out corner. Stop. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We were about an inch from we were about an inch from getting a touchdown right there. Literally an inch away. Why won't I only move my double team? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But here we go. Let's see if we can get this rollout, rollout corner. Opposite way. Now he's on it this time. Go, 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 Morgan. Go, go. Slide. Oh god, no slide. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Bro, he feels like a moving target out there. They're just trying to, they're actually trying to kill my man James Morgan, man. I feel bad, but we we, we lost energy on that. And over the middle, and he's gonna run with them. No way, you're really running. Okay, go, 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 go. We gotta fight. We gotta fight. Oh my god, I tried. I tried. I, I, I tried. No, I, okay, it was third down. I was like, maybe I can shake him, but no, no, the COD is just brutal. I, I couldn't even do anything. He lined up James Morgan and he put him on a, 
Dude, that is brutal, man. I I'm sorry, James. I, I Oh, no. Now he's just gashing me. Because in a game plan, I'm just trying to display the card. Like, I, I wasn't sure. Maybe he had heart. Maybe he did. But clearly, he's going to go ahead and fumble. Neville Hewitt's out there. That's Neville's ball all day. I feel like a guy might... Like, dude's low-key might quit. Like, dudes are weird. Like, he might quit in a 0-0 game right now. He might quit. He, yep, yep, yeah, I mean, that's expected. So, game number two, another very unique, weird game. Uh, I don't even know what to say. Had our rollout corners with Danny and Tomlinson, negative 14 yards, and a James Morgan fumble. Um, let's do let's do a third and final game, man. I'm having too much fun. Pitch is open. We're gonna hit pitch short. Pitch after the catch. He's decent. Not not, not, not nothing too special. Can't really air chuck or any, do anything like that, but pitch is decent. Okay, we actually haven't thrown Jets Dig yet, so let's try Jets Dig. What's he in? I'm trying to catch him in a cover three. I can't catch him in one, though. Okay, we're gonna roll out here. Jamal Adams. I knew I knew he was gonna be I knew he was gonna be uh, all over. Oh my look at the juke by Pitts. Okay, Pitts. Okay, Pitts. Oh yo, show me another tight end. I just said I just said he was decent after the catch. Show me another tight end that's doing that. Oh my. That was cover four too. And I mean, I'll give the I, I'm not gonna give any credit to James Morgan right there. That was all Kyle Pitts. That juke animation was disgusting. The speed to finish the run. Morgan celebrating. Like, Morgan, you didn't do anything, bro. Let's go. I keep thinking Morgan's far. But you're not far, though, Morgan. You're not. But let's go with a comeback on the outside over there. Comeback for Edwards. We're going to double-team this outside guy. And if he's been playing his cover four, we should have waddled over the top here if we if, if, the, if the pocket holds. It's cover two, I think, though. It's cover two. It's a tough throw. I'm still going to get it there. Get it there. Good throw for Morgan. And there we go. Dodge James Morgan waddle over the top for another James Morgan touchdown. Um, besides from the fumble, which was completely my fault, you shouldn't even have that. You shouldn't even have this guy in that scenario. All right, guys. So that is going to do it for the James Morgan gameplay. And if you cannot afford RG3, I think RG3 right now is the best QB in Mutt. But James Morgan, he's either two, three, or four. He's somewhere in that range because he's a golden ticket and you're able to run these abilities on him for just six AP. Um, as a runner, he's not good at all. A very one-dimensional quarterback, but neither are Farb and Rodgers. But you're able to get a skate artist, gunslinger, and high route master for six AP, which is just amazing. And Farb and Rodgers, they cannot do that. You cannot put escape, you cannot put gunslinger, and you can't put hot route on them for six AP and then use your other AP elsewhere. You simply just can't do that. So I think James Morgan, for his price right now, should be rostered on everyone's team. Yes, I know we still have, like, Ryan Tannehill dropping and Derek Carr and the other QBs coming out, too. But I think if James Morgan just continues to drop in price, I don't see why everyone shouldn't have the, the Walmart throne golden ticket. I don't see why. And honestly, for me, having a Jets theme team, comment down below who I should use at quarterback. Uh, I have been getting kind of sick of Favre, so I, I guess I could go back to Favre, but... I was then playing on using Zach Wilson, but they gave Zach Wilson a um, Mahomes release and does not get high round master. So I'm not sure if I actually want to keep, you know, uh, Zach Wilson. But James Morgan, this car was fun to use today, man. I'm not going to lie. I had a lot of fun using James Morgan. But um, yeah, if you are still watching, let's comment the jet emoji for a chance to be shouted out in the next video. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. Turn notifications. We post daily Madden 21 content. And as always, I will see you boys in the next one.